Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we are reviewing a new wedge shaft in the market from Breakthrough Golf Technology, BGT. We recently done, actually recently as in 10 minutes ago, done the uh, new Brava uh, driver shaft. So you can see they're starting to really fill out their, their product uh, portfolio, Mikey. They're, they're starting to add uh, products into as many different parts uh, of the golf bag as they can. I think iron shafts would be fair to say are gonna come next. Yeah, I gotta assume you have to see it. I mean, the shaft was so, the putter shaft was so popular, still yep. really popular for us. This driver shaft, something there. Yeah, something there. So, um, I mean, if you can make people a better wedge player, more consistent with the shaft, I'm game. Yeah. So I think what it is with BGT is right now their focus is on the specialty clubs, right? So they started off with putters, they then uh, brought out the driver shaft, then obviously into wedges now, and that's the one we we're going to focus on today. I think maybe that's why they'll maybe take a little bit more time to build a match set mm -hmm. uh, and how they go about that because obviously it is a family of, of products, not just a single um, product going into uh, a specific club. So um, we're going to test it against the, the gold standard, the Dynamic Gold S200 that comes in a Vokey SM9. Yep. Um, just under 130 grams, 1.9 degrees of torque. That is the story when it comes to the, the, uh, the zone shaft, the ZNE shaft. Uh, you have the 115 gram yep. version you're going to test. I'm going to do the 130. Mm -hmm. um, what are you playing right now in your, your wedges? Uh, I've got DG Spinner Pluses. Spinner Plus. Wedge Plus, yeah. Okay, so, so 128-ish. 128-ish, okay. So, yeah, yours are going to be in the little bit lighter side with, uh, with higher torque. So mm -hmm. now you're, you're going to be a little bit, uh, little bit lower torque. And that's the story when it comes to the, the BGT shaft. It is, it is the torque conversation uh, that really they're trying to push. When it comes to the frequency, I mean, for, for those of you who are not familiar, when we talk about frequency in club fitting, we're talking about a clamped section of the golf shaft that we then load and release. The amount of, of sort of, you know, flex or, or, or the amount of bounce on that shaft, we're going to call it uh, cycles per minute. Every time it passes the laser, we're going to call that a cycle. Uh, so we're looking at 100, or sorry, 400 um, and... 30 CPM on the 90 gram shaft, Mikey. Mm. 500 CPM on the on the 115 that you're trying, and 530 on the wow. 130 that I'm going to try. Crazy. We've not seen CPMs that stiff in anything really. No, I mean you could take an X7. We even had one of those uh, Bryson graphite wedge shafts, the not Texas rebar back in the day. Nowhere close to that. Not even close. So. Uh, the, the question will be, how do you retain feel? Because the wedges are all about feel when you're playing shafts that are so stiff. Mm -hmm. That will be uh, the interesting part to see. Yep. Um, so it, it looks very much in the similar uh, mold to the uh, to the shaft, the putter shaft that, that first came out, stability putter shaft. You've kind of got the, the non-tapered graphite tube going down into the tapered steel uh, tip section. The, the 90 gram that's around here, that's right here, um, sort of the, that's the 115, the 90s around somewhere. It has a graphite tip section. It's the, just trying to obviously save that weight. Um, but that one we've not tested yet and I'll be interested mm -hmm. to see if that one feels a little bit Definitely. different. Let's get some base liners with the S200, Mikey. Uh, I have actually had the luxury of having tested this down with Jake at Club Champion a couple of weeks ago. You've not yet tested yep. this. Um, so I'll be curious to hear your thoughts. Okay. 50 yards, we're at Pebble Beach number four, short par four. Um, little fly over here. We've hit a lovely, lovely drive. We've got 50 yards left in. Uh, and let's see uh, what you've got here. Okay. Okay. Perfect for distance. Mm -hmm. Just a wee bit tuggy. Uh, just a little 50 yard or so. I mean, even if you're flying this 45, 44, yeah. that's... that's that's plenty. Not bad at all. Better. Better, better. Okay, one more. Tuggy. Okay, um, so 115 grams, so we're a little bit lighter with this, significantly stiffer like we talked about, that yep. butt CPM at 500 CPM, much, much uh, stiffer. Um, it is a little bit larger in the handle. Um, yeah. It's 610 in the handle, so it's gonna feel like 
almost equivalent of having a little bit extra tape under yeah. there. Um, this is something KBS tried, if, if you think back uh, a, a few years ago. So they brought out their 610 uh, right. wedge yeah, shaft. Yeah. It's something that, again, allows them to stiffen up the profile of the shaft a little bit, just trying to go for that dispersion. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, BGT have done that, but having mixed the materials of having some, some graphite in the, the, the top half and then steel in the bottom half, they're able to manipulate flex so much more right. than you ever could when it comes to a steel product. So I think that's the, the thing uh, that people will be curious about. How does the, the steel hand on the, the uh, sorry, graphite hand on the steel tip section, how does that mesh together? Right, okay. How's the look of it for you for starters? Looks fine. Doesn't... Uh, not off-putting at all, is no, it? No, it's not bulky or anything no, like that. No, no, it transitions, I thought, really, really well. Say a hair thick, maybe, but we'll yeah, certainly little, take it. A little high in the face. Confidently throwing that back there. I don't know if, like, I don't know, I'd impact. Everything just feels very one piece. It doesn't feel all over the place or soft or anything like that. No. I, I like it. It actually feels quite nice. A little draggy, but it works. Okay. Um, so, if we're looking purely at the performance right now, we're seeing a little bit, uh, a little bit more launch. I think that's the fact that you're holding it with a, a slightly more open face. Mm -hmm. uh, the face was closing over with the SM9 yeah. quite a bit, um, delivering a little bit more loft with the BGT. That's definitely uh, holding the line a little bit more. What did, what did, it, what was the differences from a fuel perspective? More, like I said, at impact, everything feels more one piece. That. If you were to chip a ball with no wrist hinge, that's what it feels like to me at impact. Mm -hmm. Everything's just very, very stable. So, so the, probably the stiffness then is is taking any of that kind of little bit of deflection totally. uh, away. So you're, you, when you say, uh, you know, stiff wristed, it's like losing a lever because the wrist ultimately is, is, yeah, yeah. is a lever. Um, so, but that, I don't think it sense. would alter if you were, you know, 30 yards around the green or to hit like a little flop shot or something like that with the 60. I don't think it would alter your, I don't think it would take away the feel around the greens, that's for sure. But mm. on this more full shot, what I would consider is definitely very one one piece. Okay, um, I'm gonna go to slightly longer now. Go back to the SM9 for me. Okay. Let's see some 75 yarders. Okay, Mikey. Um, 75 yards. Yeah, similar thing with, uh, with the full shots. Uh, with the, the S200, you were, you were definitely likely to pull it. Yeah. Um, so let's, let's see how it is with the BGT. Okay. That's really nice. Good. Good. Okay, so second time around, just a little bit of a similar story. Um, yeah. A little bit more online. Let's see what's going on here. Yeah, its path is a similar story. Face angle, which is obviously the key, mm -hmm. um, is, is a little bit more square to the target line. Interestingly, you're a little more toe down. A little heavier shaft in the... Uh, like the S200, definitely, it does go more left on me. This, after a couple of shots, definitely feel like you have, I don't know, we want to say you could work it more, but yeah. just maybe a bit more control. I, and and that, was, that was the feeling I had when I had it. I just felt like I had more control mm -hmm. over it versus, uh, versus the, the steel shaft. Um, it wasn't my preference to play 100. 
27 gram shaft and a wedge anyway. I play a 120 gram uh, yeah. shaft in the wedge right now. So to me, I knew it felt a little bit too uh, too heavy. Um, but I'm going to test that because I'm yeah. going to dive in now and try yep. to test the one the 130. Okay. Uh, because that's the one thing I didn't I didn't do um, extensively last time. Just looking for more of that, kind of just like mm -hmm. very neutral flight. Comes in a bit lower. Ah, oh. oh, rascal. Well, the interesting thing, when I tested this with, uh, with Jake, my miss was to the right mm. with, the, with the dynamic gold. Um, we didn't hit too many shots at this at this distance. We yeah. were playing it a little bit longer than this, but it was definitely something I found was going definitely out to the right, which has been my weak shot for the last little while. Okay. Noticeable weight difference right out of the gates. A little bit. I wouldn't say it's huge. I would say, yeah, statically, yes. But when you swing it, it actually feels in your hands a little heavier than it does to swing it. Right, okay. For whatever reason. That was a little bit crisper, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Does it feel more stable every time you hit it, or is it? do you think it's a one-trick pony with this thing? No, it, it feels really good. It, it does feel very, very stable. I mean, it's something that everyone's always went softer yeah. with, with wedges, haven't they? More feel, like you get a little bit more feel, you feel the head and stuff like that. Short and soft. Yeah, maybe, maybe that's been wrong. Maybe that's been wrong all along. Yeah. You know, because... Um, well, we're, we're going to see, we're, we're going to test this thoroughly now yeah, and yeah. go, okay, what's it like if we do go softer, you know, eight iron shafts in the wedges, that type of thing, versus this is going significantly uh, stiffer. Now, that CPM measurement is a butt measurement, and when you're dealing with two different materials, we know how much stiffer the graphite is versus the steel. So, yeah. you know, there obviously is a, a part where the steel will be contributing in deflection right. as well. So that CPM stiffness doesn't tell the whole story, yeah. as we know. Um, but uh, let me hit one more and then we'll switch back. It's a good strike. Similar to yardage and carry, but your, you know, your launch is up, so spin's gone up a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, strike is similar, a little bit more uh, dynamic loft with BGT, huh. or dynamic loft. Yeah, I mean, delivery-wise, attack angle and path are obviously, yeah, identical. I mean, they're both 60-degree they're both golf clubs. Mm -hmm. um, that's, that's quite the difference for, for having the same, the same static loft. Very interesting. Move you into 75 yards? Yeah, let's do that. And on course for you, the 75-yard, you're pulling 60. Depends on the shot. I don't hit an awful lot of sixes. I think you said the same thing. I, I probably would tend to go... Well, I actually don't right now carry a 60, I carry a 58. Right. So I probably would actually go... Probably 58. And if the pin's at the back with nothing in front, I might even go 52. 52, yeah. Strike? Yeah, pretty solid. Chance. Okay. Change it up. That was good. Come back. But back here, like we said, the spin is definitely up. Launch has gone up, but you look very 
confident just to swing at it. You're not worried about missing it or pulling it kind of thing with uh, the what you would do with like an S2 or an S4. Yeah, like that's the biggest thing for me is I feel like I was missing, I was as likely to pull it as I was to push it with mm -hmm. the, uh, the S2. Um, I, I just don't feel like I'm, I've got the same kind of miss pattern in me with this one. Uh, if I miss hit it, maybe, yeah, it'll go offline. But if I had a good one like the last couple, it just it feels... Every time. Yeah, very much automatic. Good shot. All right, well, we got one more. That's better. Yeah, good swing. Yeah, that's good. All right, Mikey. Um, so the big story is with the spin rate. Mm -hmm. um, through the, the, the differences in the dynamics, because we know we know that a shaft is not going to produce more spin. Right. The shaft doesn't hit the ball. The face hits the ball. The shaft is attached to the head that is ultimately going to deliver the, the impact and the friction mm -hmm. into the golf ball. So when it comes to the, the 900 RPMs of difference that we're seeing in here, we've, we've got to try and you know, reverse engineer what's going on with that. Um, attack angle is the same path, it's pretty much the same. Yeah. So it really lies in here, a marginally lower strike. So we are getting the gearing uh, of, of the sort of lower launch. Let's see, did we see that? Very similar. Um, but the strike obviously was, was contributing to the spin rate and then the higher dynamic loft. Yeah, and that face angle shot a little. Yeah, yeah. Little, little shot with the, the SM9, a uh, little more open mm -hmm. um, with, the, with the BGT shaft. And, you know, I think when we, we look at the comparison on the, on the dispersion, it, there is a, there is a, dis, a dispersion oh, story when yeah. it comes to this shaft. You, watching you hit those shafts very um, consistently, like mm -hmm. all within the same little area, whereas that you know, stock SM9 did, did drift on you yeah. in the odd time. The miss was more prominent in the SM9. Yeah. I like the feel of the, the, sh the more solid feeling shaft, the, the uh, stiffer feeling shaft. I have mm -hmm. to say, it just, it just feels stiffer. Yeah. Um, but it doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't feel hard to swing in any way, shape, or form. It, it just feels like you have more control of the face. It, it actually feels to me like I have more of a, 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 a more of an attachment to what the face angle is doing. Yeah, totally. Like, right. like I said, it, it felt more one piece, mm -hmm. but you knew where everything was yep. at, at impact, which was nice. Yeah. Um, I mean, guys, the jury's out. It's going to take some more testing with, with many, many more players to know if we've, we've really got something here. But in testing, you know, it appears to be, there appears to be something in this. We know there is no one-size-fits-all option, um, you know, from whether it be Voki or whoever's testing, whatever stock shaft uh, the companies use, that is, that is a shaft that they think will, will cover a wide, the widest net of players sure. that, that they test with. That's, only, that's the only uh, purpose of, of those shafts. It's not designed to be the best shaft for every single player out there. Jordan Spieth uses a Project X and, you know, another guy out there uses a Dynamic Gold. It's just, that's their particular shaft. Um, but this is, this, is going to be, uh, this is going to be an option. It's already won uh, on the Seniors Tour. That's right, yeah, um, yeah. So I'm not sure if we can say who that was, but if you... If you Google the BGT uh, zone shaft, the, the ZNE or ZNE, depending on what side of the border you're from, uh, you will find out exactly who that winner was. It isn't supposed to be in every single wedge in the back. Right, that's what you said earlier. Not really a full yeah. swing wedge shaft. Yeah, which though, to be honest, when I'm hitting full shots with it, it makes me scratch my head and go, why? Yeah. Why not? You where's know, the iron shaft? Where's the iron shaft? Because if you can be that consistent, if you can mix the materials the way that they have and and get that, that torque value so low to the part where you just don't feel the shaft deviate at all. It just feels like it's, it's just in line all the time. You know, we, we, don't, we don't need it to, you know, to uh, you know, be kicking that much when it comes to these no. wide shots. So the, the question, I guess, begs, how much do we need it to be doing it with the iron shafts? Right. I think I, the big thing I'm excited for is to get it in a bunker mm. and see how, it, how this reacts with those shorter, kind of quicker shots yeah. kind of thing. That feel, that's kind of you know skill around the greens. Mm -hmm. Does it hinder it? Does it help it? Uh, Jake was saying when he was uh, testing them, he's he's done them out in the course. Uh, 
he was saying that out the rough, he found they were really, really good out the rough. And whether that's, again, the stability, whether that's the, the stiffness yeah. of the shaft, able to get through the heavier lies, and, the, and to your point about the sand, it'll be interesting to see if you do get a little bit more face control, if it, if it does help you in those, those particular shots. The one person I can't wait to get this in the hands of is Mr. Rafluski, uh, and see how, uh, how he gets on with it, and, you know, with some of his players. I know he's always keen to try different things yeah. he quite likes lighter and softer lighter and softer yeah so it'll be interesting to see if maybe the 90 gram one uh fits his his preference uh you know so and he can do i mean i'm a very basic basic wedge player my one trick pony i can try and hit a, a fairly stock shot reasonably well he's got every shot uh, under the sun so i'd love to see him uh, with Definitely. one of these in his hands yeah that'd be cool cool all right guys um we're gonna have these in store uh i think they're readily available very soon, if not now. Yeah, yeah, no, we, we've got a bunch in stock, which is good. Excellent, excellent. Okay, well, let us know, guys, if anyone's tried this. Keen to, to hear the feedback. Um, a, bit like, a bit like it was with the putters. It's going to take some time uh, to, to penetrate. People are going to be a little bit, uh, you know, maybe apprehensive to, to deviate from their S400s mm -hmm. or whatever their favourite preference of, of uh, wedge shaft is going to be. But... You know, if you're not, if it's not a huge strength of your game, don't be, don't be shy in, uh, in giving something else a, a little ta a try and test. You never know when you're going to find something that gives you a little bit extra advantage. And with the short game, with the amount of shots that we hit, we all, we all know the, the value of the short game in the wedges. So uh, be open-minded enough to give these a try. Definitely. Good stuff. All right, stay tuned for more. We'll see you again soon.